Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we have a super exciting release with iOS 12.4 Developer Beta 2. Uh, let's see if this version of iOS 12.4 uh, Beta actually fixes all of the issues that we saw in Beta 1. Again, I'm not complaining about Beta 1. Uh, that was totally to be expected with that uh, you know G at the end of the build number. I was just clearly stating that uh, we've kind of taken a step backwards from iOS 12.3. So let's get it installed onto our device. It's installing right now and take a look at exactly what changes have been made to iOS 12.4 developer beta 2. Okay guys, so we have iOS 12.4 developer beta 2 installed onto our device. Just a little bit more information about this um, update here. It came in at around 83 megabytes, so a very small update for the iPhone XS Max. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, kind of information regarding this build. So we have a build number here of 16G5027i, and that I does indicate that this is still a very unstable build of uh, iOS. So definitely if you have a daily driver, I would recommend kind of just holding off. There's not too many new features that are you know worth updating to uh, for this beta version. So uh, definitely hold off for now. It is still unstable as we are seeing it now, and it's just you know better safe than sorry when you're updating to the betas here. Now, one thing that I did see change um, was uh, change new for me, but for other people it happened in uh, iOS 12.3, but in iOS 12.4 developer beta two, I actually see um, the Apple cash card. Um, previously this said Apple pay cash. So that's a change for me. Um, I know that, you know, with iOS 12.4, the huge focus uh, is on Apple pay and uh, kind of the Apple credit card, the Apple card. So, um, you know, we'll see more development of that within the wallet app here. But for me right now, the Apple pay cash um, is a definitely a new one. So having that change from Apple pay cash to Apple um, cash is a change there. We also saw some tweaks to the Apple TV app. Again, go check this out if you're interested in Apple TV. I'm definitely using this service just a little bit more, um, but just very small changes to the UI and very, um, you know, small changes to what they're recommending. Now, uh, in the remote app, I did see a major change in fluidity with the Apple remote. Uh, so definitely go ahead and check that out if you are on the betas currently. Uh, the Apple Pay or the Apple remote actually works a little bit better with the Apple TV. It's just a little bit more fluid when using this touch, uh, you know, this touch screen up here where you swipe. Um, so that's really cool. And yeah, that was about it. There's not too many changes going on with the uh, build here with iOS 12.4 developer beta two. If we go into the Apple, um, you know, wallet and Apple pay menu here, you can see Apple cash is that's reflected there. So everything uh, kind of lines up, but that's about it guys. Uh, no new features, no new wallpapers, everything pretty much feels the same. I'm not noticing any faster of an experience running um, this beta version versus the last one. I will go ahead and share with you some results that we get got from Geekbench and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Now in uh, beta one, we saw a 4,772 uh, 4, for the single core and for multi-core 11,422. For uh, the single core score running beta two, 4756 and the multi-core at 11,372. So another slight decline uh, in uh, the second beta here over the first beta and then from the first beta to iOS 12.3, we had already seen a decline. So um, we're on the downwards projection here. Hopefully that kind of uh, reverses, but yeah, with beta one uh, for the compute score, we got 21,317. And then on the second beta here, 21,887. And uh, this will affect graphics performance, UI, uh, smoothness and everything like that. So it's nice to see that that score has bumped up. And uh, as I said, I can't really notice any smoother of a performance here. Everything uh, pretty much feels the same. But uh, so far in running this beta for the past like 30 minutes, I haven't been experiencing those UI bugs that I was experiencing before. And uh, so that's really nice. I'm not experiencing kind of like the jitteriness I was um, seeing before and all that. So um, I'll give you guys an update later on in the week, likely Thursday or Friday as to how this build is treating us. And uh, we're definitely gonna check out some, uh, you know, the bugs that we saw and battery life and all that. I can tell you right now, battery life seems to be going down quite quickly, just running it for 30 minutes now, but that might be because of indexing, but uh, we'll give you a better idea as far as what's going on later in the week.
So guys, that was iOS 12.4 developer beta two. I wanna know your experience in the comment section down below if you're running these betas. Also, if you're not, I want to hear what your thoughts are on the beta process so far. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you want to uh, basically stay up to date with any of our content that comes in the near future, make sure to get subscribed and definitely hit the bell button because that gives you updates as soon as our content comes to YouTube. Also, if you wanna follow me on Twitter, that's another way to get involved. Code is on screen. I will be able to like tweet you, answer questions and all that jazz. There's also important channel updates there and now as well, just I'm getting more involved with Twitter. So definitely follow me there and then also there's a discord server link in the video description below you can find my wallpapers there's forum discussions for everything that we talk about here on the channel so that's really exciting and I definitely think you should go check that out anyways guys thank you again for watching I really appreciate all of you and I hope to see you in some upcoming content peace